Peter Cosgrove has been sworn in as Australia's new Governor-General during a vice-regal ceremony in Canberra. The former Defence Chief says he's proud to serve and will get straight to work promoting Australian values. Done or done. As a soldier, he rode in tanks. Now in a vintage Rolls Royce, a general completes the journey to become Australia's 26th Governor General, greeted by the 28th Prime Minister, the former Defence Chief, now Commander in Chief. Led through the Parliament's Marble Hall and into the Senate Chamber to be sworn in by Chief Justice Robert French. I, Peter John Cosgrave, do swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. His appointment signed by the Prime Minister. A proud moment for him and wife Lynn. And proud beyond description of Australia, of its men and women, and of their history, their heritage, their present genius and their hopeful future. He described his challenge as formidable but not daunting and was eager to begin. And now it's time to get to work. Thank you, Mr. President and Madam Speaker. Well said. His appointment heralded by a 21-gun salute. After a distinguished career on the battlefield, the only gunfire he'll hear now is ceremonial. As our new Governor-General, Sir Peter Cosgrove isn't expected to create fireworks of his own. He promised to promote Australian values of equity, compassion and energetic ambition. But that's what Governors General do. They encourage us to be our best selves. They are our cheerleaders in chief. I can think of no better person, more fitting, to salute the courage and sacrifice of Australian Anzacs. Congratulations from a former Prime Minister, once tipped to be Governor General himself, <laughs> and led out by the current Prime Minister with a little jig, delighting waiting schoolchildren. Oh the vice regal roller rattled over the rise and down to Government House, where an old soldier greeted his new home. Yep, nice digs. Yes, sir, Sir Peter. And we're live now to our political editor, Mark Riley. Mark, what sort of Governor-General can we expect Sir Peter Cosgrove to be? Well, Chris, one with a bit of a larrikin streak, as we saw just there. Peter Cosgrove has dedicated his life to military and civic duty, and he certainly has the common touch. I don't expect he'll be embarrassing the government on social issues like some of his predecessors. But importantly, the General becomes Governor-General as Australia prepares to, uh, to, no, to, to uh, recognise the... Uh, centenary of Anzac next year. So I think that more than anything will define his time in those pretty impressive digs over there at Yarralumma, Chris. All right, thanks, Mark. Mark Riley there, live from Canberra.